This is part 12 of a series on building a full stack web application using Spring Boot and React, where you get to watch every line of code being written and a full app built from the scratch step by step. If you're new, start watching from this video. Okay, so we have theme page, we have match page, we now need a home page, okay? A place where you can see all the teams and click on it and each, it's basically gonna list all the teams that are available in the database. Clicking on one of those teams is gonna take them to the team page. So the way to do this is basically by creating an API, which lists all the teams, which is kind of like getting the team names from the team table. And uh, once we get that, we basically show a page, like a, it's gonna be a home page. it's gonna to map to the slash root, and uh, it's just gonna show all of them in, in a grid format, and you know we're gonna be using CSS grid for that. So let's give that a try. I'm going to go to my, um, my controller, which is my spring controller. Let me close all these things over here. We don't need all of that. I'm gonna close front end. I'm gonna to go to my team controller, and I'm going to get all teams. I need to write a method which basically get all teams, okay? So I'm going to do uh, at get mapping slash team. This is going to give me everything. And I don't want to get all of the all of the teams with the matches. I just want all the teams. So I'm going to, this is going to return a list of teams. get all teams, and this is not going to have any path parameters. And uh, here, this is going to do team repository dot, if you see here, there should be a, yeah, there's a find all. Awesome, this is what we need. I don't need a list, I'm just gonna return this as is. Okay, so instead of returning a list of team, I'm gonna, return an iterable of team. It's basically like Spring MVC is going to basically return all of the teams. And notice I'm not populating the matches here. I'm not setting the matches. We don't need that. We literally just need the team names. So rather than create uh, like a list of string, I'm basically saying find all teams. It's not a lot of data to teams, so it really doesn't matter. It should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to go to localhost 8080 slash team. Not this one's 8080 slash team. And here are all of the teams, which is what I want. Okay, so here are all the teams that are available in the database. Okay, matches is null because we are not getting all the match information, which is fine, we don't need that. So now that we have the API, what I wanna do is create a route, which is basically the home route. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to the front end over here, right? So I'm gonna go to, um, app.js and here in the switch I'm going to have a route which maps to slash which is basically the home page and uh, it kind of also maps to like anything which it doesn't find okay so this is perfect I'm gonna get this guy here and I'm gonna make this home page and I'm gonna create a home page component in the pages folder new file homepage.js and uh, I'm gonna copy this stuff here. Basically, let me copy everything. And I'm gonna tweak that as we go. So this is going to be not team page, but home page. So wherever I have team page, I'm gonna change this to home page. All right, so this is gonna be, the state is gonna be teams and set teams because I'm gonna get all the teams and uh, the default is going to be an array, right? It's gonna be a list of teams. We don't need team name because we don't have a specific team name that's gonna get everything. Okay, now over here, I'm going to make a call to localhost 8080 slash team, that's it, which is gonna get everything. And then I'm gonna do set teams of data and then this is actually fetch all teams. I think I have the naming wrong over here. So this isn't fetch matches, this is fetch teams. Fetch team, because it's an individual team. Okay, so here 
in the home page. I'm fetching all themes by making a call directly to this URL, getting the response and setting it to the teams state that I have over here. And this needs to load only when the component loads because things aren't, aren't changing. There's no not found state. It better find this thing, right? And over here, I am going to um, have a, a header section and I'm gonna call this head, I'm gonna call this application name, okay? App name is going to be Java Brains Appeal Dashboard. Okay, and below this is going to be just one div, which is gonna be a grid, okay? We want it to be a grid and have it be uh, basically all the divs arranged in basically a two column layout and uh, we can maybe tile it, we'll see. So I'm gonna create one div here and then class name is team grid, okay? And over here, I'm basically gonna loop through all of these individual things and uh, let me call, let me create a component called the team tile. Or should I create a component? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I was debating that because I'm basically getting a little lazy, but I think in the interest of best practice, we should do it. It makes sense to create a component for these kind of things. So I'm going to create team tile as a component. And then this is going to take team name and nothing else. This is the only parameter we need. And then this is going to import react it's curly brace, not parentheses from react. Okay, so it's gonna get a team name and what it's gonna do is return basically a div which takes up as much space as it needs, okay? It's not gonna bother with where it's being placed. I expect the outer component to set that in a nice structure, right? It gets the shape from the outer component and this doesn't decide how big or how tall this tile is gonna be. Create a div, class name equals team tile. And then inside this, there's gonna be H1 and then team name, All right? Nothing fancy over here, it's just the name of the team. Okay, and uh, this is going to be added to, let me save this so that we have the route here. And of course I need to import a homepage. So I have the app.js ready, okay? Okay, so over here in homepage, I'm going to print the team tile for each team, okay? So this is going to be a JavaScript expression where I'm gonna do teams, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called teams dot map. For each team, I'm going to return team tile. Of course, import it. And then team name equals, what is it, team dot what do I call it? Team name over here. So this is going to be team dot team name. Okay. Now let's see what happens when I when I run this. Okay. I'm gonna when I, when I load this slash team fails. Home page is not exported from dot slash match page. I should update that. Yeah. This is home page. And now what does it say? Unterminated JSX constant. Okay, let's fix that. Yeah, so there is a div here. This thing goes over here, and then this one closes over here. Cannot resolve homepage.scss. Okay, we don't have homepage.scss, so let's add that, which is gonna be empty for now. And now we have all of the teams, okay? All of them are H1s, so it doesn't really look good, but we can style this, it shouldn't be a big deal. So now what I'm gonna do is um, move this over here, 
get to our styling window arrangement. Now this is going to, the, the whole grid is going to be, this part is going to be a grid, okay? So I'm gonna go over here and then make this into a grid. So team grid is going to be grid homepage.css dot home page and here dot team grid is gonna have display grid and then I need two columns okay so I'm gonna do a grid template columns so there's gonna be one fr one fr so it's basically gonna split it into two columns like this all right and then I'm going to have grid spacing column gap is going to be 10 pixels and grid row gap is going to be 10 pixels as well just to kind of let it breathe a bit okay and then each element inside which is going to be ampersand and then div I'm going to make justify self to be center and then align self to be center so that it's in the middle and I'm gonna have text align to be center as well okay so it's in a nice centered way okay rather than put this I'm probably gonna have a have a div name for what's inside over here right this is team tile right so this should probably go to team tile so I'm going to copy this over here this should not be over there each team tile or maybe this is fine over here i can style the style this part to team tile because this has got to do with the grid and how the grid looks like inside so it makes sense for the styling to be over here but centering and bordering and all that stuff needs to be in the team tile css so i'm going to create team tile.css and uh, make sure i'm imp importing it let's say import team tile.scss right and in my team tile.scss i'm going to uh, height be i don't know 400 pixels i'm just going to create some hard coded values here uh, that's too much maybe 200 pixels One seventy pixels. Okay, that's better. And then uh, the width is basically based on uh, what we have over here, so it's gonna expand or shrink or whatever. And then I'm gonna have a text align center, and then border is going to be one pixel solid white. Okay. This seems to be taking uh, basically the size of the text. So I want to ensure that this thing takes up the whole thing. So the way I do that is by asking it to stretch. And let me try removing these things. There you go, that's better. So I'm going to remove this and uh, add some padding to this guy over here. Maybe 20 pixels should do it. Okay, this is this is much better. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is make these clickable, and uh, these should go to the team page that they correspond to. Okay, so I need to be able to click on one of these and then go to that particular team page. So I can do that by going to team tile and then adding the link over here. Okay, so I'm gonna do import link from react router dom and then this one is going to be an h1 but a link to equals there's going to be slash teams slash of the team name yeah so it's going to be over here the dollar And uh, I'm gonna provide 
I'm going to provide team name here and then close close the link. Okay. This over here. And now these should be links that I can click on to go to that particular go to that particular team page. Okay? It's perfect. This is what we want. All right. Okay, so um I'm going to make one last tweak to the home page, which is basically adding a little bit of, um, you know, making this stand out a little bit more and uh, add some padding at the bottom. So I'm going to go to the home page .js, and what I have here is uh, app name. I'm going to style the app name over here. All right. Got app name. I'm going to say font size is going to be Turem. It's already two rem. I'm gonna make it three. Okay, and I'm gonna add a margin, or maybe margin for both. I'm gonna make this thirty pixels auto. Okay, that's looking fairly decent. All right, I would say the the home page is probably the the least. Uh, styled of the pages that we have. It's it's probably the most underwhelming of these things, but uh, I can probably add some more data over here, some more details about what this app is, you know, how did this get built for somebody who stumbles across this and who also happens to know Spring Boot, they can probably watch these videos and learn how this was built, okay? So here is, here is the app. I'm fairly happy with how this has turned out. Maybe it warrants a link to the homepage from all of these pages, right? That would be a good thing to have. Maybe have like a link here. I'm gonna put a task in the GitHub repo. So if you wanna take that on, um, feel free to submit a PR, right? And I can uh, I can incorporate that. There's another thing that you can add uh, to, this, to this application. So now that we have this, what I'm gonna do next is have a way to deploy this, okay? There are a couple of things that we need to do to make it deployment ready. And uh, we're gonna do that and deploy this. Um, the standard way of doing this is having this be in two different repos, but since we have this in the same repo, what I wanna do is have the ability to trigger a build for the React app and have it go to the Spring Boot uh, project so that when the Spring Boot project gets built, that carries the React app with it. So typically the order of build for us is gonna be, we're gonna build the React app first, and then the Spring Boot, which pulls on the React app or basically takes the React app with it, and we can deploy it to production. So let's do that in the next tutorial. I realized that I haven't committed this, so I'm gonna commit the match page year selector. And uh, Home page, right? We have both of them done over here. So I'm gonna commit all of them. And again, this is gonna be a checkpoint for here if you're following it. This is the state of the app right now that we're gonna try and uh, try and deploy.